Shepherd of a soul, Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. Amen. How many of us believe that Christ, Jesus, uh, God speaks the way man speak? Amen. Who? Mm-hmm. I don't believe that God had a voice. He speak with voice. I do. I do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, as I have said before, if you go to your father, you just go to your father. You are talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. Your father is not, your father is not talking about what, what will you say? I'll be frustrated. Would you say maybe my father is a? Uh, you say, Daddy, Daddy, are you hearing me? Uh-huh. Hey, yes, oh, yes, my son, I'm hearing you. Ah, ah, I thought I was. Uh, that's how it is. Oh. We, we, we come to God, me and you, not only you. We come to God, we talk and talk and talk sometimes two hours talking. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when I hear <laughs> some women praying, we hear, let me hear, trust in the Lord. Let this is very well now. It will be pain. Stormy heaven. I'll be waiting for a time to pause. When it will pause. I say the Lord is saying now. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, real. Pray, I pray, I pray. Hey, please wait, 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 wait. The Lord is talking now. Then we should pray about so, 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 so. You are just praying with your, with your own mind. You are living, you are praying, just God must be telling you, pray about this, pray about that, pray about this. That's how it used to be. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Every spiritual deafness and gladness that the devil has cost me is making me not to hear from my father, making me not to see my father. Lord, pull that thing out of my ear. I pull that thing out of my eyes. I want to hear my father speaking. I want to see my father speaking. In the name of Jesus Christ, open what I pray. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, 
spiritual deafness, spiritual blindness. Father, I Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. You see, the story of Ananias and Sapphira. How did uh, Peter just know that uh, this man, this man, this man what, they saw, what they saw was was not this, was not what they are saying? Say, hey, this is wonderful. I say, my dear, is the Holy Spirit and he still remains the same today. The reason why you can't do that is because of your development and sin. The reason why your husband is not operated that way, the way they are operated, that person will go and fornicate and still come and still pray with the person because of sin, honey, because of developed mind. The Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost, it's still made the same. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The reason why somebody can go to the them now and call my phone, maybe the person is in prostitution house. Uh, talking here, possibly will be giving cancer without telling me ah, where you are now. Get out of there if I can talk to you. Because you can hear, you can see. Uh, what you say, my son, apostle, this woman is in prostitution. I can't talk there, and you see me saying, you know, <laughs> God, 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 God. I mean, do we cancel it without receiving cancer from cancer lock? Cancel us without cancer from God. You go and prostitute, go and sing, you call to apostle, I'll be talking. Apostle cannot tell you this is what you did before you came here. It's a shame. Apostle, please, it's a shame. Correct, sir. In the beginning, it was not so. So okay. also making making jest of pastors. Let, let me test, let me try this pastor. If it's actually if it's actually a man of God. Mm-hmm. Man of God, hey, how are you, my daughter? <laughs> okay. Ew. How are you, my daughter? And your daughter is fine. And your daughter is just doing something there. And your daughter wants to try you to know if you are actually a father indeed. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Pastor Pisa, yes, uh, yes, yes, uh, my sister. Uh, so, 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 let us pray. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, it will just be, she will just be eating corn. Amen. <laughs> Stop shouting there. She's busy. Te- is it testing? She's first to show you are praying. Amen. Amen, sir. Just testing. And Apostle Peace is shouting and shouting sweat everywhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, I said, you say, God has done it. You say, thanks, God has done it. So look at him. I will not connect again. If this is where Sister Ego is connected to, I will not connect again. Mm-hmm. Father, deliver me. Father, deliver Apostle Abraham. Father, deliver Apostle Peace, Lord. Mm. So tell you that we are failed in many in many ways. That's why I say this one now. Mm-hmm. That means it has happened. Mm. Has happened. Abraham, we must do something about this. 
-hmm. You are praying and the woman is playing with phone. Say, so, Junior, come and play this game. I, 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 I pass is praying. Mm -hmm. hey, are you hearing me? Say, yes, I'm hearing you. Amen. Mm. What a shame. You can't say, woman, don't think the Lord is not seeing you. Mm. You cannot call a man of God and start making jest of him. The Lord sees that you are playing with your phone. Even before you call, woman, I know you are calling. You are here to tempt me. Please, join us to pray for the apostles on this mountain. Say, Father, open their eyes and their ears that they may hear and restore their prayer altar. Go, oh, Father, I pray for the apostles. Please pray for us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, my God, just Father, Father, Jesus, wherever, O oh God. Lord, Father, have mercy upon me. Lord, have I am sorry. I'm so i uh, she said, Apostle, please help me to pray for documents. I've been looking for documents for so long. Um, with my mind now, are you a Christian? I say, yes, I'm a Christian. born again. Are you sure? I hope you don't. He said, no, sir, I'm a Christian. It's okay. Since you, are, since you are clear, let us pray. That was last year. I was praying, see, Mr. Man, shut up your mouth there. The girl you are praying for now, she's in prostitute house. Italy. For long now, I have not, I have not seen such a thing again. He said, I said, Sister, you said just that you were born again. Say yes. I said, The Lord never lie. As I'm talking to you now, you are a prostitution house. You are, you are in where you are doing prostitution. This lady, she just bust cry. Sir, I will say after today I will stop. Mm. Sir, I have not been doing it again. It's condition. I just say after now I will stop. That's why I will call you, sir. Truly, I'm a Christian, but I say, why are you changing God? You told me you were born again. How can a born again Christian be doing prostitution now? Uh, you are your prostitute point. You want to be praying and you are saying amen, which where you are waiting for a man to come and carry you. He was crying and weeping and crying. He don't cry, you go and cry to God. God will have for you. And she repeated, after a week, the document she had been waiting for for years, they gave to her. Hmm. After a week, hmm. I can't find her now. She's not calling it again. The document has come. I pray God will restore her in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is how it should be. We are to see that we chase them out of sin. Not just by only preaching, preaching, preaching. To be a watchman, many things evolve. You preach and love things be revealing to you. It's a charity. See, 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 see. Lord said, I should call you and tell you this. Sister, remember, this is what you are, this is what is happening to you right now. That's why you are crying. Why? Lord said, you tell you, don't cry again. You give, with that, you give people comfort. The Lord will help me. 
help Apostle Abraham, help Apostle Peace, help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Over to you, Apostle Abraham. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, we thank the Lord for the opportunity that we have to call upon the name of the Lord. We have read from Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. I just want to read it again. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. The Bible says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and will heal their land. The word of God has come forth already and it's very clear. The Lord has spoken to me. The Lord has, spoke, has spoken to every one of us. And the demand is placing on us is that we go back to the altar of prayer our uh, altar of prayer that is broken that needs to be repaired. Remember before Elijah called down fire from heaven, he repaired the altar of prayer, the altar of the Lord that was broken. Mm. The Lord has brought us to the same state tonight mm. Mm. that we might repair our altar of prayer, the broken altar of prayer. Mm. What we should be asking ourselves, why is it that... We are no longer able to pray as we used to. We are not able to tarry long in the presence of the Lord as we used to. Oh, as the man of God has said, the key thing is sin. That is a major thing. That is a major thing. That's why we'll be repenting. Most of what we are supposed to be doing tonight is actually repenting before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the Lord himself will have mercy upon us Amen. and our altar of prayer will be repaired Amen. Lord will hear us yet again in Jesus mighty name Amen. so I don't know you can know your own situation I know my own situation I don't know. Hmm. you want to go to the Lord and humble yourself before God as he has demanded and our prayer will be God whatever it is that has disconnected me from you, whatever it is that has brought my altar of prayer into this serious state of disrepair. Father, Lord, expose it and let it be destroyed. Have mercy upon me for failing to call upon your name as I should, for failing to approach unto you, for being so far away from you. We want to open our mouths and call upon the name of the Lord. He's a merciful God. He has said he will hear us when we repent. But, we repent sincerely. And that from our hearts. Let's open up before the Lord. Open up before the Lord. Let's humble ourselves before the Lord. Let's cry before the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. He is a beloved Father. He wants to fix our altars tonight. He wants our altars to be here tonight. Our minds are not fight for you. Oh, that you cannot answer prayer. But that our iniquity has been. Father, Father God, you know that your hand is too short in that you cannot save us. Neither is your ear heavy that you cannot hear us. That our iniquity has separated us from Father. Oh Lord, and Lord, second God, you will save you over our seven prayers. You will save us, Lord Father. Heal us that you will be our Lord. Ask for mercy, O Lord. Ask for mercy here, our land, that my Father have mercy on us. Be dead to us, Father. Deliver us from every possession. Deliver us from every possession. Deliver us from every possession. Deliver us from every manipulation. Father God, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, come and help us in our infirmities. Holy Spirit, come and help us in our infirmities. Have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, O Lord. 
We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Bible says in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 and 3. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither is he a heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities, yes, my iniquities, yes, our iniquities have separated between you and your God, yes. and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Yes. The Lord is of purer eyes than to behold iniquity. He will not look upon sin, yes. sin in my life, sin in your life. Yes. Verse 3. For your hands are defiled with blood, mm. and your fingers with iniquity. Mm. Your lips have spoken lies. Mm. Your tongue have muttered perverseness. Mm. You want to pray. Mm. We cannot hide it from the Lord. Mm. Let's humble ourselves before him and open up. He knows it, but he demands that we confess before him. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. The whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. God is willing to show us mercy tonight if we own up, if we cry out unto the Lord, if we repent before him sincerely tonight, because what has separated us from him are the little, little sins here and there that not allow the Lord to see us. Our garments are stained. There are blood spots everywhere. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our sins Is a loving father, is a merciful father. He says, If my people, which are called by my name, are you born again, a child of God? You are a part of the people that are called by the name of the Lord. If we shall humble ourselves and pray and seek the face of the Lord and turn from our wicked ways, then 
will the Lord hear from heaven and will forgive our sins and will heal our land. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. Now that we have besought his face, now that we have confessed our sins, we want to pray that the Lord will look down upon us from heaven. That the Lord in his mercy he hear us from heaven and forgive our sins and heal every sickness in our lives, every spiritual shocker in our lives, everything that has disconnected us from the Lord, every weariness, every lukewarmness, every prayerlessness, whatever it is that makes us weak, that makes us cold, that makes us lukewarm. There are spiritual sicknesses that the Lord will heal us today of prayerlessness. The Lord will heal us today of spiritual laxity, laziness. In the mighty name of Jesus, we need healing. We need healing. We need healing. Oh Lord, look down upon us. We need healing, oh Lord. 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 we pray in Jesus' name. Our God is a faithful God. He does what he says we will do. Mm. He has set out the conditions that he expects for you and for me to fulfill. And once the conditions have been fulfilled in his faithfulness, he will keep his own part of the covenant. He's not a covenant breaker. Mm. And tonight I pray that the Lord will help us to do our own bit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Remember um, when the man of God was reading from Luke chapter 18, from verse 1 to 8, you see the emphasis there is importunity. You continue until you get it. Mm. You continue to pray until something happens. Tonight, I pray that the Lord himself will release that spirit of importunity upon us in Jesus' mighty name. I read just two verses now, uh, three verses rather, from verse six. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. Mm -hmm. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night, praying without ceasing unto him? Praying until something happens. Praying until they are restored. Praying until they can experience or they, they can really tell that their prayer altar has now been repaired. Mm -hmm. We want to continue to pray until we see that, until we can tell that indeed the repair has been effected. Do he, he, do he be along with them? Mm -hmm. He may not answer immediately. It may take a long time, but... God is not like that unjust judge. Mm -hmm. He's better than that unjust judge. Mm -hmm. And so he will do it for us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. He mm -hmm. will answer us speedily. Amen. When the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Shall he find people who will say, I'm not you know, going to stop praying until God answers me? Mm. Until God visits me, mm. until God touches me, we want to pray and say, God, give unto us that spirit, that spirit of never giving up, that mm. spirit of not taking our hands off the plow. Mm. We have decided to follow the Lord. We have decided to call upon the name of the Lord. We have decided to see revival, to experience revival, no good. 
going back, no giving up, no taking a hand to come, for that spirit, that spirit of impunity, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we call upon your name, we pray, and we call upon us tonight, the spirit of impunity, the spirit of prayer, the spirit of application, the spirit of prayer, the spirit of prophecy, before apostle peace takes over i'd like us to open our bible to romans chapter eight romans chapter eight now i'm going to read from verse 26 Romans 8, I read from verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be altered. 27. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Mm. Praying according to the will of God. Praying what is on the mind of God. How can we know what to pray? Except we have, we receive help from the Holy Spirit. Mm. We want to pray that the Lord will release his Holy Spirit upon us at this hour. Equip us with the Holy Spirit. Empower us with the Holy Spirit so that we will be able to pray as we ought to. So that we will not struggle to pray. So that we will be able to tarry long in His presence as long as He wants us to be there. So that we will not be rushing in and rushing out. Open your mouth and pray for the help of the Holy Spirit. Pray that the Lord will empower you. We see the Holy Spirit of God. We cannot do without, without the Spirit of God. We cannot pray without the Spirit of God. We cannot pray perfectly without. The Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost with you, we need you, O Lord, and 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 Spirit, Spirit, we cannot do without you. We cannot do without you. We look up you. We come upon your We are powerless without 
Amen. We must know 12 30. Thank God to uh, today is uh, our first prayer. We come, we pray much more in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember what our brother did, Elijah, but the people never understood what we were doing. They pour water on the altar, they never knew they were washing away the, the thing that is not of God in it. So the fire will come down and burn it away. Mm. Mm. Yes, Pastor Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep pouring it. Keep pouring it. They never knew they were washing away all those things, all the dirty away from the, from the Lord Jesus to clean it, clean it away. So that when the fire comes, nothing will hinder the fire. Tonight, mm. I pray the Lord will rain down, rain on our altar to wash yes. every unclean things out of our altar mm. and set fire mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Mm. Before the fire will come down, the water must do its own. Amen. All those things that of God must be washed away. Amen. Amen. And just charge over my altar at night to wash away every unclean thing, everything in my altar of prayer that is defied. Send your angels to ward them away totally before the fire starts burning in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, God, anything on our prayer order that does not glorify, O Lord, your angel to wash away all the defilement, O Lord. Send your angel to touch us, to purify us, O Lord, to sanctify us, to see us, O Lord, to present us, O Lord, a sacrifice acceptable to your son, O Lord. Father, let your angel wash our prayer order. Let your angel wash our prayer order so we can glorify God, I believe they have poured the water, they have washed it away, they have washed every opportunity away. We are going to call down fire. Say, Father, as it was in the days of Elijah, let your fire start burning in my prayer, in my altar of prayer. From now on, lukewarmness is gone. Uh, is gone. Let the fire, fire, incredible fire, be born in a prayer altar in the name of the Lord. I <laughs> 
Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. 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 So shall it be in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. It's how far we can go, but after the service, you can still keep up praying. You know what you need. But we say the woman persisted. And I know you have answered us. And um, it's time to start achieving now. Simply, if you have any level person, you can call. Call the person and say, let us pray together. Let's keep on praying. And um, mm-hmm. we speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. It is every time. Bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you, Apostle. Peace. We pray, sir. Amen. God bless you too, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, eternal rock of ages, omnipotent God, you have spoken again crystal clear unto us. Father, we have failed you. We have disappointed you in several ways, O Lord. Father, we thank you for this timely reminder for us to visit our prayer life again, for us to prepare the altar of our prayer life that the fire of the Holy Ghost might rest upon it. Father, then may your name be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, I pray this hour. Your word is here and amen. Your word never lie. Your word says, blessed are they that taste and hunger after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Father, Lord God Almighty, as many of us, O oh Lord, that you have spoken, O Lord, oh Lord, Father, tonight, grant every one of us the grace and strength to go in our closet and taste after hunger and hunger and taste after righteousness that we all may be revived in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray in any way our spiritual altar has been portal, in any way our spiritual pipe has been portal. Father, I pray that you perform your divine surgical operation and let every spiritual pipe be restored to the glory of your name alone and to the shame of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Father, I pray every spiritual blindness and deafness, O oh Lord, Bambi Allah. Father, let it clear away out of our life. When you speak, we shall hear you loud and clear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, Lord, Almighty, I pray, O oh Lord, have mercy upon us to keep our heart, O oh Lord, with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Father, Lord, God Almighty, I pray that this word that you have spoken not to us will not be used against us, O Lord. It will not be used against your servant, O Lord, that you have used, O Lord. Rather, it will make every one of us rapture ready in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, your servant that you have used, that you have left him. Father, I ask, O Lord, that you strengthen him, you empower him, you refrain him, you grant him the grace and strength, O Lord, to remain faithful. Father, that anointing of watchman, that will enable him to watch over the flocks that you have put under his care. Father, let it rest upon his life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As many apostles, O Lord, that you have brought to work with him, Father, Lord God Almighty, let every one of us run in that same vision and mission in the mighty name of Jesus and let your name be glorified. Father, Lord God Almighty, I thank you. I bless your name. I give you all the glory. Father, as we go now, we are not leaving your presence, O Lord. Father, Lord, let your presence go with us. Let your presence abide with us. Let our spirit man be quick with this word that you have spoken unto us, make every one of us take action and react to this word and walk accordingly in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of forgetfulness, every spirit of hearing but not doing it, 
it. We bind and cast you out of this ministry Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every fragmentation in the spirit, fragmentation in the spirit, Amen. pray but our mind is in a is in different location, Amen. not connected to your presence. Father, we destroy that spirit tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, into your able hands, as many that are give that are given to the propagation of your work. Father, we ask, oh Lord, let your blessing that follow the faithful give us, oh Lord, rest upon every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. All glory and honor be unto you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. The grace and fellowship. The Lord and the have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Victory in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then our hands lift to heaven. Father, glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Amen. Amen. Lord, I give us victory over lukewarmness, over hypocrisy, over whatever that have been holding us bound in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Uh, we need to pray and uh, pray and hear from the Lord that begins to us. Go now and accept, go and be who God has the to be in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And all those demons that were revolving at our houses that, that used to come and do whatever they were doing. From 6,000 meters away, they will hear from us now and run away in the name of Jesus Christ. And remain burning for the Lord in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. See you again, 6 a.m. the morning, if Christ Harry. God bless you. Good night, sir. God bless you.